How are we all doing, peeps? This is Dr. Darago, and welcome to my third episode of my Wicked Wanderers Manager Mode. And we start off this episode by going onto the transfer list to find a right midfielder. Because Ainsworth, my current top right midfielder, is retiring at the end of the season. So I need to look for a replacement for him. I had a brainwave. And then I realised this player will be a huge addition to the team. And he comes from all the way from Germany, precisely in the Bundesliga 2, and he plays for a club called Exasperge Auer. Now this right midfielder I'm talking about has 93 pace on ultimate team. He was born and raised in Wolfsburg, played for Wolfsburg second team, scored 32 goals, currently playing for Exasperge. And now I'm going to try whatever it takes to get Mike Conaghan to Wickham Wanderers Football Club. I offered Exarch Birch £195,000. I could get him for a little bit less, but I want to show Exarch Birch that I really want Mike Conaghan to join our club. So I waited and waited for a reply. I got my reply saying I have accepted the offer. So I gave Mike Conaghan a four year contract, £2,000 a week, 5% goal bonus. It was time to play the first match of the season against Rotherham United. I made a few changes to the squad and then we were ready. Everyone in Court Lane was ready, even though it should be called Adams Park because that's the name of the stadium that we can wonders play in real life. But anyways, everyone was ready. The fans, myself, the referees, even the catering staff were ready. And this game should be a cracker. So the first half began and Wickham scored the first goal. Brosk passes the ball to Grant and just smashes it past the keeper. And it's 1-0 Wickham Wanderers. And Wickham scored another goal. Grant crosses the ball to Dennis Ollie, who just headers it past the keeper and this lad is in top dog form this season. First half ended, second half started. Alex Bro starts the second half in style with a cheeky finesse. The keeper didn't do much, but it's 3-0 Wickham Wanderers. So that was the final result. Wickham Wanderers 3, Rotherham United 0. Now you're going to probably be saying to me, did Rotherham had any chances at goal? Well, let's see. That was all the chances Rotherham had. I haven't had a reply from Mike Conacher yet, but hopefully he will reply to me after this match, Exeter versus Wickham in the Capital One Cup. So the match kicks off. We start things brightly in the first half. Logan passes the ball to Ainsworth, who belts it past the keeper. He may be 39 years old and retiring at the end of the season, but my Joey can score. 1-0, Wickham Wanderers. We can see that the goal, O'Flynn just taps it in to make it 1-1. Grant passes the ball to Logan, who makes a lovely through ball to Coffor. Coffor with the shot is a goal. What a goal by Joe Coffor. 2-1, Wickham Wanderers. So that was the result, and Wickham is through to the next round of the Capital One Cup. Now, I'm sorry if I just showed you just the goals, not, you know, like close chances, injuries, sendings offs, or game changers, could, or possible game changers. I just want to keep it sh short, the short highlights. I don't want to bore you with, you know, close chances, or if there's like a serious injury, then I will show you it, or a red card, but yellow cards don't even bother. And, you know, just like goals that just goes way wise, then I don't bother as well. Sorry, I will try and, you know, fit them in. Good news, everyone. Mike Conacher has accepted the contract offer. So all I've got to do now is accept the contract offer. And the final piece in the jigsaw puzzle is here. So the top story that most Wickham Wanderers fans have been saying to each other, is Mike Conagher going to make his debut against Oxford United? Yes, he is going to be on the starting eleven. So we're ready with our next match against Oxford United, and I could not wait 
for Mike Conacher to show to the fans, myself and the entire Empower League 2 that he's worth every penny. So the match begins and as soon as Mike Conacher gets to ball and just running down the wing, I just thought to myself, I'd made a great bargain. I mean, just look at it. He's just got the pace, he's got the stamina, everything. He whips in the ball, Graham with the header, goal. Mike Conacher, on his debut, has assisted Joel Grant for a 1-0 goal. Oh, and just to make his debut much, 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 much more better, he scores, finesses it past the keeper, 2-0, Wickham Wanderers. And Wickham scored another goal. Brusk passes the ball to Grant, who hits it with his weak foot. It just creeps in into the bottom right-hand corner, 3-0 Wickham Wanderers. I wanted to make sure that we definitely got the three points and I just enter the code Mike Conacher. Mike Conacher just smashes it past the keeper and it's 4-0 Wickham Wanderers. And that was that, 4-0 Wickham Wanderers. And Mike Conacher on his debut scoring two goals and assisting one goal. So the video is coming to an end and I would like to finish off with just a question. Do you want me to play on world class instead of professional through the through the rest of the series because I've been winning matches and it'll be pretty boring if I just kept on winning matches and getting promoted and winning every single title do you want me to you know up a level a bit let me know down in the comments so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video leave a like rating if you want if you want comment down below if you want subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll speak to you next time with the next video. Goodbye. I'm trying to get more followers on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter at DrJerichoXX. Link in the description.